This is another uh, submission from the full mount top mount position. It's a lapel push choke. Um, so if Dan's on his back, and I'm in the top mount. This one is usually done with a gi on. Just slide this back, back a little bit. Usually done with a gi on, so it's best done with a jacket or with somebody who's got a pretty solid shirt with a solid collar on. This is not the best shirt to do it with, but we're gonna show it anyway. So from here, what this would look like, I'm just gonna show it so you can see it easily from here. I'm gonna, if he has a, you know, a shirt on with a label on, right, I would grab it here, and I would take the other hand, grab on the other side, making a fist, right? I would bring this across to this side, like so, pick up the slack on this side, and then rear up and drive my body weight down onto this carotid artery. So basically this pinky knuckle and this side of my hand is putting the pressure on the carotid artery on this side, and his shirt is cutting off the flow on the other side. All right, so from the other side, it would look like this. I'd be grabbing the label or just picking up the slack of the shirt. You can do this with a regular t-shirt too. I right, just gotta be careful not to rip the shirt. Um, then you lose the choke, all right? So from here, I'm grabbing on this side, bringing this across, all the way, picking up all that slack. You can see that. This goes on this carotid artery on this side, picking up the slack here, and driving down. All right, so straight arm, and then rear forward onto them. All right, it's a label push choke.